Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is an RPG in a Box tutorial. Today we'll start learning about the Model Tools panel of the Voxel Editor. The Model Tools panel contains all the tools you'll need for making, coloring, and editing your Voxel model. I am very excited to get started because I love making Voxel models in RPG in a Box. So let's open up RPG in a Box and get to work. First, I'm going to create a new resource so that we have a blank canvas to play with. Next, I'm going to grab this handle between the Game Explorer and the Model Tools panel and resize the panel just so we can see everything at once. So now we've got a nice blank voxel canvas to use. And if we mouse over the grid, we see a purple square under our cursor. That is our voxel cursor, and it shows us what face, or flat square side of a voxel, our selected tool will affect. Now let's start looking at the tools. The Model Tools panel is divided into a few general sections, and we'll start looking at the first section today which contains your general voxel model making tools. Starting at the upper left, we have the attach voxel tool. The hotkey for it is one or F1. This is the tool you'll use to place new voxels in your mesh. If you've never worked with voxels before, it might take a little getting used to. For example, a new voxel must be placed either on a face of the voxel grid or on an existing voxel face. So you'll often need to create supports to build to the area where you want a voxel, and then delete the supporting voxels that you don't want. Alternatively, you can create large chunks of voxels and carve out the details by deleting voxels that you don't want. It's very fun, so try it out and don't be afraid to make mistakes, just have fun with it. While you have the Attach Voxel tool selected, you can change the voxel placement mode located to the right of the model tools. Right now it is on box, and if we left click on the voxel grid and drag, we can see it creates a box starting where we clicked and ending where we release the mouse. Now let's change colors and switch to voxel mode. Voxel mode places a single voxel over every face you mouse over. Not including the faces of the voxels placed in the current stroke. Let's switch colors again and change to face placement mode. This one might be a little hard to understand at first if you're new to 3D terminology. It will place voxels not just on the highlighted purple face, but on the face of every connected voxel on the same level and of the same color. Try it out a few times for yourself to get the hang of how it works. While your cursor is inside the voxel editor viewport, you can quickly switch between box, voxel, and face mode using their hotkeys. B for box, V for voxel, and F for face. Now we have the paint tool. Its hotkey is 2 and F2. It is used to recolor existing voxels. So if we pick a different color from the palette, down here, we can paint our voxels a new color. The mode can be changed the same as with the Attach Voxels tool by either using the dropdown or the BVF hotkeys. And it also functions similarly 
except it paints existing voxels instead of placing new voxels. Box mode paints voxels. Within the box, starting at the first voxel clicked and ending on the voxel where you release the mouse button. Voxel mode paints individual voxels. And face mode paints all connected voxels on the same level and the same color as the voxel clicked on. Next is the Erase Voxels tool, and its hotkeys are 3 and F3. It is used to erase voxels, and it also uses the three different modes, box, voxel, and face. Next is the Replace Color tool. Its hotkeys are 4 and F4. If the contiguous box is checked, it will only replace the color of all voxels with the same color of the voxel that you use the tool on that are directly connected to that voxel. If contiguous is unchecked, it will replace the color of all voxels in the current frame that are the same color of the voxel you use the tool on, regardless of where they are in the model. And if the All Frames box is checked, it will replace the color of all voxels in all frames that are the same color of the voxel that you use the tool on. So let's first uncheck all frames, duplicate this frame, so we have two, go to the first frame. Now I'm going to replace the light blue with purple. And if we go to the second frame, we can see that it has not been replaced. So let's go back to the first frame, make the purple light blue again, and now let's check the all frames box. Switch back to purple, replace, and it has been replaced on both frames. With these four simple tools, you should be well on your way to making your own voxel models in RPG in a box. There's still much more to learn in the voxel editor though, so I'll be seeing you again very soon. Thank you so, so much for watching, commenting, subscribing, and for your continued support of RPG in a box. You are awesome, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye!